All right, guys, it's uh, Monday the following week after we got the boom stripped down and just got word from the sandblaster today. Looks like we're gonna have a good stretch of weather the next three days. Gonna be pretty chilly, but it's not gonna be raining. So should be good time to get these booms sandblasted and then hopefully get them painted and clear coated. So we're gonna get this thing over to the Sam Blasters, he works out of a concrete mixing facility in South Jackson, so we gotta take the sprayer straight through the heart of Jackson and get there. Yippee. But it'll be worth it once we get this job done, so let's get on the road. They like to burn it. she is all the paints oh i don't know i'm kind of digging that aluminum color might just throw some silver paint on there that's ready for a coat of primer and some paint all right we're back here for another day uh spent all morning getting the sprayer prepped to paint getting everything taped off been masked off a few places on uh, here that sand blaster wasn't able to get uh grinding them down and he just got started priming. First thing, we're gonna put a good coat of primer on here. Then we'll put a layer of paint on here. And then we'll put 
a clear coat on here. Hopefully we got enough paint to do this. He was telling me he went to go get some more paint and the uh, base, uh, the base of the paint, the clear base that they need, like nobody's making it anymore and having almost an impossible time trying to find any. So he's got enough John Deere green left over from another project to hopefully get this done. So hopefully it'll be enough. here we are on hopefully the uh, last day getting our sprayer painted saying everything sandblasted got a good thick coat of primer on it and the only thing left to do is put the paint on there and the clear coat and should be able to get that done today I'll we'll have to get it done today because we got another winter storm system coming in and probably gonna be the last suitable day that we have for painting for now anyway of course we are in january it's never a good time to paint but this is about the only time that we've got that the sprayer can be down and disassembled and get this done so we gotta make do with what we got so i think you're gonna get started uh, on the painting here in just a minute All right, folks, so there you see it. Got the paint and the clear coat on. Looking mighty good. Whole lot better than that rusty mess we brought over here. Right now, we're gonna give it a few hours to dry, then we'll start uh, taking tarps and the tape and wrap off and fold it up, put it in the shop and Probably let it sit there all weekend, let the paint cure out good, and we'll come back and get it probably first part of next week and first warm day we get. And I reckon we'll start uh, trying to get all this plumbing back on. Ooh, I'm dreading that. Uh, getting everything straightened right back where it should be, but we'll get it figured out, so I'll bring it back then. All right, you ready to put this sprayer back together? Oh, not really, but it ain't gonna get any warmer this week. Do you by any chance remember how it all goes back together? Because I don't think I do. I was thinking about those rubber grommets this morning. I didn't think anything about where to pop them suckers back in. Yeah, we didn't. I didn't pay too much attention to it. I might have to go back and review the replay. Well, uh, this is the only halfway warm day we're going to have this week, so let's try and get it done in one day because I don't feel like getting frostbite on my fingers tomorrow morning. No. What's it going to be, 14 in the morning? No, nah, I think that's going to be tomorrow night. I think it's supposed to drop down to about 30 tonight, and the high tomorrow will be about 36, and then get cold tomorrow night. So I'd, uh, I'd really prefer to get the thing shaped up today. Surely it'll go back together quicker than what it came apart. Surely. 
Yeah, well, let's get it folded up and get started on it. Fingers. Is this side going to work now? Completely leak free, all the electronics going to work? Or better. Hey, I think we got this side wrapped up. Got all the electronics run. Uh, you are everything. Everything run out of the way nice and tight. All the pipes on, all the hoses and everything tightened up. I think this side's ready and we're ready to flip it around and at least get started on the next side. Not gonna get done today though. Well, we're going to call it a day. Uh, when we worked on this side an hour, we made a real big dent on it. It's definitely going a lot faster than the other side. I guess we figured out how everything goes. But yeah, we got uh, almost half of this boom done. So we're going to put our gloves on in the morning because it's going to be cold. But hopefully another couple of hours, we'll have all this put back together. Now, whether it actually works or not and doesn't leak, don't have electrical gremlins that could be a different story but the hardware should be on there anyway so we'll bring you back in the morning all right how cold are those boats this morning not as cold as this boat right <laughs> it's definitely not as cold as that one about to go to Vegas, I feel like doing a little gambling. What do you want to bet that everything's going to work properly after we do the calibration and nothing's going to leak?
might take a while to get everything recalibrated, all electronics, but. I hope so. Let's keep our fingers crossed that everything works good and no leaks because we've got to spray wheat like today. We got a we got our nitrogen in and we've got to uh, put our first shot of nitrogen out on the wheat crop. Uh, get this time of year, you just don't know when it's going to be dry enough to get in the fields, and it's borderline dry enough now. And the next rain could come in any time and put us out for another few weeks, and our wheat needs nitrogen on it. So. Let's keep our fingers crossed that everything on this works. We can just load up with fertilizer and go to the field. Well, I don't know if I need to go to Vegas and bet on red or black. I was close to right. What, we have two, uh, two clamps that was loose? That was it. Everything else works flawlessly. So, anyway, we getting our field up. We about to go spray some wheat here pretty shortly, so. Appreciate y'all watching. Here in a couple, uh, here in a couple days, we'll have a video of us putting out some fertilizer on some wheat.